Um, I missed my video last week so I'm just going to kind of skip that and go on to this one. It's basically the same thing anyway. Yeah, I was just away in Dublin on a photo shoot which um, I will be uploading soon to my Instagram and my Tumblr and my Facebook so keep an eye on that. But this week again it's going to be... Um, sorry, I was like cross my legs there. <laughs> it's going to be book of the week, like product or thing of the week and camera of the week and some exciting news that I have to share with you guys at the end of this video. I look like a little elf today. Um, apologies, it's kind of autumn-y outside so I decided to dress my crazy kimono and my little um, urban outfitters hat. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna start off with these guys. I'm pretty sure I have mentioned them in previous videos but um, I can't remember so I'm just gonna mention them again because they're that amazing. I really like them. Carhartt is a uh, streetwear um, clothing kind of line for like men and women and I have loads of stuff by them and I always used to call in to try in St Stephen's Spring because they sell Carhartt and you can pick these little booklets up. Now these little booklets are like spring summer collection, fall winter collection and um, absolutely really really nice kind of fashion photography but like in an everyday situation. So Alexandre Basile is like the main photographer that they have and it's just like really nice stuff like really nice fashion stuff but like incorporated into like an everyday kind of situation it just basically like shows kind of oh yeah well like everyone can wear this blah 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 and the photography is just really nice and really like smart especially the the placement of all the photos and um, so you can pick these up and they're free as well, you don't have to pay for them. And um, it just kind of, like this stuff is like screenshots. I was looking at it and like those photographs are screenshots, I'm pretty sure, of like obviously a film taken or whatever, but they're like screenshots so they're nice and fizzly and nice basically. Um, and I just think that's like a really good idea to take kind of like video work of models in the clothing and then take the screenshots from it and use them as photographs as product shots look like. and um, this was the most recent book I got but I got actually I got this ages ago because it was the spring summer collection I must pick up the winter collection but this was like a special edition one so they had um, kind of more photos in it um, which I will show you they had like a variety of photos there was a lot of like studio ones but then a lot of the kind of everyday stuff and um, if I can find it yeah like there was a shoot here by a photographer called Stephanie Stephanie <laughs> Stephanie Solines and it's basically like women wearing car hard, like in trees and stuff and I put this in my visual journal for my project because I really really liked it I really liked the photos. There's like daytime and nighttime, and um, the woman photographer taking pictures of women. So like that like ticks my boxes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like it looks real feminine. It looks real nice. You know, there's trees in the background, but then there's like real high fashion models in kind of casual clothes, like the Carhartt clothes. Um, yeah, it's just it's nice and feminine and kind of high fashion -y, but like very casual at the same time because it's streetwear and it's very like alternative and stuff like that. So if you do happen to be in Carhartt stores or in Tribe and St. Stephen's Green in Dublin, pick up these little booklets, they're free, take a flick through and um, I'm in love with Carhartt, like I love the, the clothing line but I also love the photographs in that book. So I'll put the links down below to like um, Stephanie Solines and Alexander Basile um, because their photos are great <clears throat> um, I don't think Alexander Basile is an actual photographer he's some kind of visual artist but he's got tons of stuff on his website so you can just go on and look at that now next thing I'm pretty sure I did review this before in one of my videos but 
So the Zoe Camera is the camera of the week. And basically you can get these for like two euro in the two euro shops or like in a chemist or anything, but they're always off date, which is actually an advantage to me because I love off date film. Um, it just gets gives off a really nice effect and like you can like really play with it, you know, play with photos and like always use your flash, I find even during the daytime always use your flash or else it doesn't expose on the film for some reason. But I mean this is the expired date of this was like two thousand ten and I have millions of them still on my shelf and they're all still good like when you get them developed they're all still fine. Um they don't like you know, like they deteriorate away, but it almost is a nice effect, if you get me. It looks real old school, it looks real nice, colours are real mod. Sometimes you get like this nice vignetting effect or like a bleaching out effect or you know, basically everything that a photo is not meant to be, you get it with disposable cameras. But I love that, like it it just adds really nice effect and character to the photograph. Um so I have reviewed digital, or not digital, sorry, disposable cameras before, but I'm going to do it again because I have lost my contacts T2. So I've had to start using disposable cameras again. I don't know where my contacts T2 is when I moved all my stuff from Dublin down to here. I don't know where it is. I lost that in my fisheye. So that kind of sucks. And loads of my cameras have broke and I can't afford to fix them really. So, um, I'm back to using like very basic stuff again. Um, these as kind of everyday like shots, like me and my mates or if I'm going traveling or whatever, I'm going to start bringing these again with me. So I definitely recommend, even if you have your digital camera, take a snap at a disposable one as well. It'll be so much better. Um, it'll be lovely. I really might try actually do a photo shoot with disposable cameras, like fashion photo shoots with disposable cameras because it look mad, like it look deadly hopefully. Um, so I might do that. And product or thing of the week is I'm going to take my laptop up and bring it over and show you my wall of um, little cards and stuff. So I'm going to turn it around here. And these are my pro oh, my drag books are so funny. Um, these are like my little um product or thing of the week is business cards and flyers and anything photography related really. Also like a uh, fashion related. Like these are from Topshop. These are all um clothing line labels that I like to collect. So that's Carhartt, Obey, and um, this is Urban Outfitters, and um, then there's like just loads of business cards over here and stuff like that, and then there's Mink Pink, so that's also Urban Outfitters, and then there's Wonder Woman, which was I got off like over, oh, see Wonder Woman up there, which I got off like pair of pants, <laughs> and then there's um like these little things as well. I'll bring it over. These little things are from Topshop. These little cards here, there and there. And then these are all just like photography business cards. So I would recommend to try collect as much as you can. Or Marlon Monroe. And um see I've got more down there. <laughs> My camera skills are terrible. <laughs> um so I'm just gonna bringing you guys back to <coughs> the landing ground. So that is my product or thing of the week um, to try and collect as many little labels as you can because you can make a real nice wall piece. Um, with them, apologies for my terrible kind of camera skills, it's a webcam on a Mac so <laughs> I can't really like hold it properly or something and um, exciting news I'm going to be doing a collaboration photo shoot with Six Studs so so excited 
um, absolutely ecstatic, ecstatic. I just emailed them and they were like, yeah, cool, we love your work, blah, blah. So I'm going to be photographing a girl that I photographed before, but then a guy that I haven't photographed before, but I've been wanting to photograph for a while. Um, and it's going to be great, I guess. She still has to get back to me, the chick that runs it. Um, because she's still trying to like get her new line coming out and blah 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 so it's gonna be soon I don't know when like a couple of weeks maybe I don't know but like that's really good because six odds are like well mad known especially in like they sell their stuff in the shit shop in Berlin and um Bonnie Strange and everything like where six studs and um, they've just gotten really big so that's good for like people following me and stuff I guess um, so that just made me really excited because I'm getting to photograph the clothing line and stuff like that and uh, for the crack I might take a photo of um, myself and six studs and like post it up as well and <laughs> um, not as part of like the photo shoot but just as part of like everything else because I've always wanted to own one of them deadly little hats with the studs on them I could just um never really afford it I guess so um yeah I think that's it guys just love Carhartt them little booklets are deadly um disposable cameras for the win and definitely collect as much like little things like little truffery and put them on your wall you know if you want like to kind of spice it up I guess with like photo stuff and I'm gonna be doing a collaboration what a shoot with six studs. So um that's it guys. See you later. Bye. Comment, like, everything, mengalerphotography.tumblr.com. Um Instagram and Twitter is at Megsy Monster. So I'll link all that down below. Thanks for watching and um peace out. Bye.